Welcome back, Sasa 23, back at Jim's Firearms, checking out some awesome knives. And I thought this knife was discontinued, but it's not. So there's a price tag. What we have here is the Spyderco Subvert. Yeah, is this the only one right now? It is, yeah. And he also told me the Spyderco Pison isn't discontinued. They just haven't made them in a while. But I love the Subvert. This is a Black Snow custom collaboration. There's his, these are Tai Chung. This thing's a beast. If you have never handled the Subvert, it's a massive a knife and it's super thick, which I love. Only thing I don't like about the Subvert is the pocket clip and some of them have wonky detents. This one's got a pretty nice, I mean, it's, it's a big blade. Uh, it's not terrible in this one. Let's see, can I, I can flick it. Very smooth action on all these. Uh, they're on, I think, Phosphor Bronze washers. So yeah, if you were ever wanting one of these massive bohemas, you definitely call Jim's Firearms and uh, you might better snag this one. I don't know how long it'll last here, but there you go. Uh, here's a new Kershaw. Uh, there's the price tag on it. I, I, I love the overall, this is the Steam model 2032 i love the overall aesthetics of this <laughs> uh, knife this is a double detent uh so push it there you got a half stop i love the blade shape on it but of course it's a hcr 13 and it's be blasted so this blade is gonna grow pretty quickly you have like a bronze pivot deep car pot clip at least there it's not reversible, I don't think, because I don't see the little notch on this side. A steel frame with a G10 on the top right there. It's like a G10 only. Bronze here and here, and then you have black for the, the G10. And you got a pretty positive click, and I'm, at least they put a half stop on that one. Very small, small knife here. All right, then next we got some Wii's and Savivis. Uh, this one right here, what did we say it was? A Quixotic? Quixotic. Quixotic. Um, Silver Beat Blast and CPM 20 CV. And there is the price tag. Uh, I, I like this one a little more than I expected to. You got a lot, a lot of milling going on here. Look at all the little channels on the uh, chamfers right here. You have jumping here. Those are all raised, uh, flat scaled, nice tumble finish there. Uh, they put the uh, lanyard hole into the backspacer. So at least they didn't put a hole into the blade, but it is kind of, since they cut it out right there. Nice large chamfers there. Perfectly centered blade. You know, at least they didn't do nothing crazy with the pot clip. I like the little three lines cut out. You got more milling right there. Just a ton of milling on this. Very good action. And you have that, um, we'll call that, is it, does it go down to the tip? It almost looks like a straight back, but it looks like it does slant down the tip. So I guess you could call that a drop point. I don't know what you want to call that. Uh, belly for days is pretty much all belly. You have that little, thumb spot right there to put your finger. Excellent action on this thing. Comes out with some oomph with that minimal flipper tab. You have jimping on that flipper tab. Uh, let's see. You cannot, looks like, looks like a skeleton eyes. I can't see too well right here. Looks like the whole scale skeleton eyes, but I'm not certain on that. I uh, might be wrong there. Hey, do you see anything milled out on the inside? I don't think so, huh? They got an, all the milling done on the outside, so. No milling no on milling the inside. No milling on the inside. You have a steel lock bar insert there. And the finish on the blade is that that vapor blast that they do. Um, it's not, you know, they, they do some good finishing work before they do that, so it's not as rust prone as a regular bead blast, in my experience. Um, yeah, so that's that one. I like this next one a good bit. Kind of kind of contemplating on picking this one up. There's a price tag, and this is the Coolix. 
This is the black titanium version. Uh, I like the size of it. You got like a black wash finish on the tie. You have uh, gold or bronze anode to titanium hardware. You have the Wii pivot. This is a button lock. Very minimal flipper tab, but you also have thumb studs, which that's why I like this one. It's kind of like uh, the more premium version of the Altus and a wider blade. Uh, wider blade or <laughs> wide or blade than the Altus. Now the one thing I don't like about it is that they uh, they put this you know last minute pocket clip. Uh, it's got that same like bead blast or whatever paper blast. You got gold anode uh, thumb studs. Um, I call it medium traction now. I like the blade shape. It, it is a little too much belly from what I've been liking here lately. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. Great action on this one. Yep. I know this next one's a uh, favorite to a lot of people. And this is another one that I'm contemplating on picking up over the one you just seen. There's the price tag. And this is the Mini Malus. This is the last uh, version they have. And this is the one I would get anyway. I'll tell you, I, I don't love the aesthetic of the Malus but the, you cannot deny on how comfortable this handle is. I like how I can body flick it if I want. It's a good bit smaller, let's see, than the Kulix. I mean, actually it's about, yeah, I don't mind, it's the exact same length as the Kulix, I think. Um, you even have that broad blade. Now you do have a forward finger toil on the Malice, and uh, this one, the Kulix has, I'd say more of a pointy blade more of a drop point this one this one looks got somewhat of like a spear point look to it uh, the actions on these are outstanding uh, very very smooth especially on this one this is a collaboration with uh, Ferrum Forge 20 CV blade steel I can actually choke up on this one I haven't been the biggest fan of the forward toil. I used to love them, but whenever I'm cutting stuff, especially like cardboard wood, my finger, when I choke up like that, my finger usually goes into the media just because of the way I cut. And I don't know, but this thing is super comfortable. Just some deep chamfers on the side. Everything's nice and softened, all the edges. Flow through construction. You got the hidden lanyard post right there. Titanium pocket clip. Well, look at that. It looks like it's it bends up right here. You seen that, Ryan? What's that look at look how the pocket clip looks like it, it bends up. You see it? Oh yeah. <laughs> it must have that. It's either that much pressure on it or um, just I don't know. It definitely goes up. I don't know if that's common. Intention or not? I yeah. wish I wouldn't have sold the other one so we could compare. Yeah. I mean, it is a thinner pocket clip. Let's see. Well, I don't know. They might have done it because it's very stiff on this one. Now, that might be because it's pushing down so hard. I don't know. Uh, anybody that has the Mini Malice, let me know if your clip dips down like that in the middle. So, these are the two I'm liking so far. But let's check out. Uh, let's see. That one goes here. Check out a couple. We've got two more. we got one more Wii Knife and the other one's a Civiti. So this one, this is the Shudan, Shodan, Shodan? I think that's proper. Okay, one of those pronunciations. Uh, there's the price tag. Now this one, you can feel the extra, I don't know. First of all, you have, you have hidden hardware on this side, so it must be tapped into either the titanium or they have a threaded piece in here. And that backspacer, it's probably that's probably what it is. The backspacer is probably threaded, because that's how I usually see we do it. Uh, it almost has like that Spyderco Bowie like handle look. You have some very. This is something I do like a lot. I don't know if it's coming across, but you have some very fine micro milling here that feels very nice in the hand. You can see that it comes down in a stepped area right here. A titanium backspacer that actually sits a little underneath the frame which you know that doesn't bother me either way pocket clip looks nice i don't know about that little point there but it's 
it's not it's not like super pokey or anything but that micro milling looks so good another minimal flipper tab but you know uh, we does an excellent job I'm, i hate minimal flipper tabs they usually hurt my finger but they do such a good job with them the action on there this one has an actual satin finish on it unlike the uh the last the last two I showed you were either blasted or bead blasted. Uh, there is uh, the maker on there. That's a squid, huh? Is that Squid Industries? <laughs> I don't know. Who's the, the, I'm not sure, the designer. Very comfortable in hand. If you're looking for a nice bowie or clip point blade, very, very smooth action on these. Very light blade, too. Well, this fits now, up 365 pounds. The uh, jimping on here is some good fine cut jimping. Now it is it is grippy. Uh, it's it's comfortable because it's you're not you're not having to overcome a very strong V tent. You have a very well done sharpening uh, notch cut out right there. I like when they do those angled ones. Usually get a good bit more sharpening life. Yeah, so this one's pretty cool. Um, lots of milling done on this one as well. No internal, but it's all done on the external. Uh, let me close it up. I want to see something. So, can't tell. It looks like there's a slight contour. Yeah, slight contour on the scales. That's going to, you know, raise the price. It, you know, just like the Spider Go Bowie. So, last is a more budget friendly option. And I've, I've viewed the Wii version of this. This is, there it goes. This is the Civivi. Well, uh, was it uh, Bruce? No. Dang it. Matthew Christensen. Yeah, it's a Christensen design, but I, I went blank. The starts with a B, huh? Well, they call it the thug. Yeah, the thug. I'm sorry. Off yeah. Brute? Yeah, it's Brute. That's what it is. It's based off his Brute model. This is the Savivi thug. I reviewed the uh, Wii version of this with the carbon fiber or titanium one, too. This one has black micarta with a bead blasted blade. There's Christensen's logo right there. He's, I love his work. And blade steel on this one is Nitro V. You got a nice uh, hollow grind right here on the uh, primary. And on the Tanto uh, area, you got a flat grind. Nice little performer. The pocket clips kind of throw me off though. It almost looks like those old cold steel painted clips. I wish they would recess them. They do countersink the uh, clip screw though. I'll tell you what, for being a flat scale knife, pretty comfortable. Uh, good access to that lock war. Good action, riding on bearings. Nice detent. Yeah, they did a good job. Now the blade's a little light. Can I slow roll it? Let's see. Yeah, I can slow roll it. And it's tip, it, it's uh, tapped for left-handed carry as well. Yep, there you go. So that's the blades at Jim's Farms. If you see anything you like, uh, give them a call. This is Jim's Farms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As for Brian, he will take care of you. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.